Hi, uh, welcome to I Cook, You Eat and I'm Elena. Today I'm going to show you how to cook a green borscht. What is a green borscht, you ask me? Green borscht is a spinach and sorrel soup. Um, sorrel, it's not always easy to source, so to use a spinach is absolutely fine. I'm using a spinach today and beautiful um, garlic leaves, young garlic leaves. So that's what I'm going to use today. But um, it's, um, like I said, if you don't have that, it's, like I said, it's very difficult to source. Um, use the spinach and maybe a lovely peppery rocket. It's, it's going to be really nice as well. So. First thing first, I've got my water boil. In my recipe, in my in my book, it's not all borscht, you know. Uh, there I'm using, uh, I'm just showing two recipes. One for the red borscht, which is um, cabbage and beetroot soup. And this one is green borscht, which is more um, spring, summer kind of soup with lots of vibrant colors. Right, okay. Uh, in the recipe, I'm mentioning um, stock, chicken or beef stock. I don't want to use it today. I just want to make it vegetarian. So all I have here in my pan, um, three pints of water with some salt. I just put some salt in. And first of all, what we have to do, we have to quarter those potatoes because they take the longest to cook. So we're gonna quarter them and just put them in. Okay. And again, obviously, if you wanna get more, um, you've got a bigger family, so you just use more bigger saucepan and obviously um, more liquid. My potatoes. Right, okay. So potatoes is going to boil. It's nothing interesting about it. We just I just put them because I need my hot plate. I just put them into let them boil and now I what I need to do is I need to so I just put it on a stir fry. So I just with some olive oil. I mostly cook with olive oil. I never, I hardly use butter, but you know, it's just a, it's, it's, I find it much nicer. And it's also uh, vegetarian and vegan friendly. Right, okay, so we just put some chopped onion. And all we have to do is just give a little bit of color. We just really don't, nice just uh, make it really nice and and soft softer than rather than uh, colorless you don't really don't need to do any uh, to give it any color right so um while we right and what I'm going to add into it are uh, grated carrots. I just used three small carrots, so that's what I'm going to put in there. As you can see, it's all, all purely vegetarian, but only thing at the end. But then again, it's a serving suggestion. You don't have to do it. I just put a little bit of sour cream and a hard boiled egg, but for vegan versions, just don't put it, just use the, uh, um, just don't use them and just have that soup as you see with uh, lovely crusty bread. Right, okay, that's time to add some carrots. I like green bush because it's, it's really nice and it's kind of, with sorrel, it's, um, 
is a lovely parting. It's a, just really, it's, it's really lovely. And this kind of, you know, springtime is really, like, really nice to do. It's lots of vitamins there, and um, you know, it's, it's just more, much more uh, red bush with uh, beetroot and uh, cabbage. It's, it's lovely. I like it as well, but it's more kind of winter food rather than um, green wood, which is very spring-summer. Right, so, again, just to warm it up and just make it nice and soft, the mixture. Right, I think it's enough. It's enough. I'm just going to take it off. I'm going to just bring, bring it back in. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put... Ooh, it's very, very... Oh, I need to wheel the spinach. So, so, so... It, it looks a lot, but let's see how much um, it's all going to fit in that saucepan. But the thing is, um, when it, it wilts, it just goes down in volume dramatically. So. small saucepan and uh, it's just a, a large bag of washed spinach here yeah, it's, it's fine and it's really nice when it's boiling in a salted water it just really gives um, spinach a nice taste as well Okay, right. That's pretty much it. That's enough. Right. So now I'm just put it on a very low heat. What I'll do, I, I just I really need to get uh, to how how soft it is. Hmm, it's fine. It's fine. So a little bit more because basically. Um, spinach doesn't need to cook too long. Uh, the main thing, the potatoes, once potatoes are... Uh, because uh, watching potatoes boiling is rather boring, <laughs> so we decided to spare <laughs> all that suffering and uh, I just just to make sure it's, it's boiled, it's soft. Yep, and it is. That's fine. And also the uh, hot plate was throwing a bit of a hissy fit, so we just had to sort that out. So uh, we're back now. Uh, now we are adding onions and carrots into the spinach and potato. Right. 
right. So that is going to change the color a little. But adds the flavor because before that I just had it, you know, basically uh, uh, <coughs> potatoes and um, spinach in, in water. Now I just add some lovely um, onions and carrots uh, fried in olive oil. So we've got lovely sheen here. Beautiful. Right, okay, I'll just check for seasoning. Deal, uh, spring onion and dill. Here I just got the dill here, but I'm not going to use spring onion because I'm using um, uh, the uh, young garlic leaves. So it's just going to be a bit overpowering. So it's either onion or um, um, garlic flavor. So I just went for for garlic. So let's not overdo things. So what I'm going to add. I'm just going to add all that deal, which is lovely. Just going to get such a, give such a lovely flavour. Mm, mm, mm. The smell is absolutely beautiful. And what I'll do, I'll just really cut a few sprigs of the um, parsley. Really nice young parsley. Let it boil just a little. Right. And it's we are ready to serve. Right. Okay. Put my ladle. want to get mixed up. I'm just mixing, just I want to get potatoes. There's no way of pouring elegantly <laughs> when it's spinach just <laughs> you walk, ah, wrap around the uh, ladle. Okay, it's all goodness, it's beautiful vitamins and absolutely so good for you. Right, okay, it's done. Um, like I said, um, the traditional way to serve it with some sour cream and a hard boiled egg, but Obviously, for the vegans, you just leave the egg and a, a sour cream out. But it's absolutely wonderful. I just can't wait to eat it. It's beautiful. Mm, beautiful. Thank you very much for watching. And um, I'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye.